everyone welcome to quick trading i know it's been a long time that i haven't done any videos but going forward i'm planning to do more tech related videos which will be useful for a dry day trading things so today in this video we are going to discuss on how we can create a model to predict the next candle based on last you know 5 to 10 candles or so information i want to keep it simple even for non technical people who want to make it understand so just to start with let's start with one uh, demonstration example as you see on the screen there are two set of numbers are you able to find any relation between these two numbers it is nothing it is just a linear equation where y equal to 3x plus 1 if you see 1 into 3 plus 1 is 4 3 to 6 plus 1 is 7 3 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 and so on similarly first we will train the model with this training data set and then if i try to ask for 10 it has to predict 31 so okay so, let's see how we can implement this so for this here i'm going to use a tensorflow library and this is where the model declaration happened and then i'm going to compile the model using sgd optimizer which is nothing but stochastic gradient descent i don't want to go into more technical terms let's keep it in layman terms so these are the training data set i'm going to provide and then this is where the training is happening here the epoch 500 meaning it is going through a 500 iterations of training data set and then when i am asking for 10 it has to um, predict the number here nowhere we have mentioned the formula or anything it has just need to go through the training and as you see here it came around 31.23 after these iterations which is nearly around uh, 31 okay so similarly uh, for predicting here we are going to use uh, these candles so for example here uh, we are going to represent red as 0 and green as 1 so here if you see our program here this is how we have represented last 10 days of uh, candles data here i have mentioned if you see here 0 1 1 0 1 1 similarly 0 1 1 0 1 1 and so on this data as an input and the 11th candle will be the output so this kind of information will be useful if you want to you know if you are doing some kind of scalping you want to just to know that particular candle will be it may not be 100 percent accurate for sure and uh, this will be help you in increasing the probability of finding the next candle with large if you able to try with the same algorithm with larger set of data with different time frames and uh, you know the how much data ever you have produced and based on the patterns that was given to the model that's how mature it will be and those many iterations after those many iterations maybe you can, you can predict better this is just for demonstration purpose a basic example how you can write a model to given input data and how it will predict the next candle so in this since this is a two dimensional array we are not we can't use this same sgd or uh, sgd here we are going to use a different uh, model and then uh, here i have declared a loss function binary cross entropy since we are dealing with binary numbers and all and then this is going to train the model for example thousand iterations with the same input of data and then here i'm going to give for example today current uh, 10 candles and then trying to see whether it can able to predict the 11th candle or not so here uh, today's based on today's candles data for example 1001100s 1000 and then uh, so okay 1100 and so on so similarly i have given some input let's see how when we run it how it is going to predict it so we can see here the training is happening once the training is happening it tried to predict as one as an 11th candle as you see here the 11th candle came as a green here for simple demonstration purpose i haven't considered any dodge, dodge, can, dodge candle or anything so simply zero or one which represent green and red candle this is how you can make use of it and try to write a model try to optimize better this is just for demonstration thanks for watching